Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm out in the beautiful woods and well this isn't really the woods, it's more like a clearing but um, the woods are over there. Um, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to test out this Insta360 ONE X camera. Um, yeah, basically I've got a new camera. Um, I think it is looking pretty awesome. I'm hoping this is going to be a great kind of asset for the channel just to, you know, be able to kind of pan around and do all these lovely shots. So yeah. Let's have a little play. I don't know what the audio is going to be like. I'm not really sure because it hasn't really got any kind of wind muffler or anything like that on it. Um, but ooh. anyway, I'm out ripping the vapour for a little bit. Those of you have kind of sent me a lot of comments saying, where's the vapour? Where's it going to be coming back? Well, basically, I took it to my old house because I had a little bit of a problem with um, the battery. I thought well, I thought there was a problem with the battery, but what it turned out to be, I, I don't know. It's just resolved itself. Um, what was happening was I was trying to charge it. When I was charging it, it was just basically like it's like the BMS on the battery was saying, you know, not charging. I'm not I'm not going to allow you to charge because there's a problem. Well, I don't know what that was all about. Anyway. It's resolved itself now, I just went and got the battery and plugged it in and it's been sort of going fine, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, bike's going well, other than that there's not really any other, not really any, any other issues, like got a bit of a problem with this back brake, seems to have kind of like sorted itself out a bit, but what I actually want to do is go 72 volts on this bike, but you know, it is pretty quick as it is. So, so far thoughts on this camera, I've only done a little bit of kind of test footage and kind of put it on the computer and fiddled around and I've got to say I'm so impressed, I'm so so impressed. At the moment I've got this kind of like mount which is um, for handlebars, so I've kind of used that, it's quite expensive like the Insta, all these accessories tend to be like ridiculously overpriced for what they are. but. This doesn't seem to be moving too much when I'm kind of throwing the bike around, so you know, I like it. I've also got this kind of selfie stick as well, which if we extend it up like that, you'll see this is probably going to fling around like nobody's business if I'm riding pretty fast, but anyway, it gives you a great view of everything around you so you can get a good perspective on what. I'm doing that's the idea really you know some of these 360 cameras I've always thought of as a bit of a gimmick really like when you see like these videos with the sphere going out which uh, no, I can't be bothered with all of that but I think for the for this sort of stuff like bike stuff I think it would actually be, um, I think it's gonna be pretty good you know it's pretty useful especially if you're out filming on your own So what's great about these cameras is they capture 360 degrees all of the time. So what effectively you can do is basically just go out filming like I'm doing now and then in post you can basically just spin around, pan, change the angle. So it's a bit like, as they say, having a kind of film crew with you all the time, which is pretty neat. Saying that, it is actually tilting down a little bit. I think I might just need to just tighten up this bracket. <coughs> tighten up that bracket and we should be good to go. Yeah, so loads of stuff coming on the channel. You've seen the crazy mini dirt bikes that me and Steve have built. Um, we've still got to do Steve's battery build, which is coming up. Um, that's taking it to uh, not quite 72 volts, uh, 18S instead of 20. So we're going to be doing that. It's going to be really cool. Um, and then we'll be doing some side-to-side -side stuff. So this, you know, again, this camera would be really, really cool for that sort of stuff. 
um, I'm eager to sort of like listen to what the audio is going to come out like on this so you know I'm a bit I'm a bit worried it's going to end up with just kind of like you know wind noise all the time but uh, we should be alright anyway you can see a really lovely building site to my left how cool is that you can just pan as you're you know as you're talking you don't have to point the camera in a different angle thanks very much Here. Saturday is always a really great time to come out on an e-bike. <laughs> Everybody else is around doing exactly the same thing. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking it should just give you a lot of perspective, especially with the, in the, you know, for the riding videos. You should be able to just pan around and just see, see what I'm up to. about to get run over. I know there's a few of you viewers around here it's not one of those, um, that live in this area and I kind of recognise recognise Panzanger Park. Oh, I'm going to end up on the road here. So it's the next day now, I'm back on my Sony ZV-1. So you can see the quality close up is a lot, lot better. That's one of the things I've noticed about the Insta360 like first off, is that you know it covers such a massive wide angle, obviously 360, that if you do kind of zoom and crop in, the quality isn't as good as, well, I don't know if it's comparable to a Hero 9. Mm, maybe, I'm not sure, but I'll have to do some more tests to actually kind of figure that out. Um, the other thing is the file sizes are flipping huge like once you export them out of the insta360 software into something that my final cut can kind of um, understand like basic mov files um, they are huge you know when i took it out yesterday i did let it record you know like i would normally the gopro just leave it on so you just capture everything um, and i ended up with something like 80 or 90 gigabytes of footage on my computer which you know is going to start to get a little bit tedious if you're kind of you know doing that so i think with this camera i think it's important to just shoot what you need to shoot rather than you know just leave it on although you could it didn't really fill up a 128 gig sd card so overall yeah i'm impressed with it as you can see like i love the fact that you can just go out with a camera on don't worry too much about where you're pointing it and then after you can just you know do all those kind of nice angular things i'm not really into the gimmicky side of it but i think it's quite a useful tool um, on this especially for the bike stuff you know if I wasn't doing bike stuff I probably wouldn't bother but you know I think this is this is good so anyway that's my quick little introduction into 360 video just a quick off-the-cuff test um, there's plenty more that that camera can do and I'll probably explore it in other videos maybe but the main thing is you can pretty much get it out of the box and get going straight away and get some good you know 360 footage you know us youtubers we want a quick solution we don't want to be jumping through hoops all the time and the editing thing might get a bit long I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you in the next one.